Hey, so Osama Darius, who is the lead game designer over at Warner Brothers uh, doing Gotham Knights, uh, which is the Batman family game, has put up a petition on change.org. He says, folks, I want you to sign this to stop Six Days in Fallujah from coming out. Now, let's just ignore the fact that no matter if this signature petition gets a million, 500 million uh, signatures, uh, there's nothing in the Constitution that says the First Amendment is going to get destroyed if change.org has something to say about it. So it's kind of a, 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 a pointless thing, right? Unless he's hoping the publisher will see this. I, I don't know what he's hoping. Is his heart in the right place? Absolutely. We're, it doesn't matter that he's Iraqi, but he is. He says, help me stop uh, uh, the make them making a game that intends to normalize and trivialize the murder of my fellow Iraqis. The fact, of course, that he is an Iraqi makes it all the more horrible uh if what this game is is what he is suggesting it is but it, look i think the game if what he's saying it is sounds terrible okay six days in fallujah as originally presented to me when i was at sony when they were producing it and also just over time always sounded great to me which was it was a documentary it was meant to be a game version of like platoon or saving private ryan and, and not even saving private ryan was very black and white but platoon and other, these other war movies that basically say hey look we have to look at this from all sides yes america rah rah whatever but america committed some heinous war crimes uh, uh throughout our history certainly in fallujah where they use white phosphorus that burned the skin off of people including civilians including children Americans killed 800 civilians, I think, in that X day battle, like five, six day battle in Fallujah. Um, we are not the heroes uh, of, of this story, at least viewed through a, a large number of filters. Um, I mean, you can get into the whole, I'm not gonna, there's a whole political angle you can look at, like, well, the insurgents intentionally went into a populated civilian area, you know, all that's true, okay? All that's true, but why were we there in the first place? On and on, it, it's kind of, it's, it's not irrelevant to, a proper six days in Fallujah game if they make it that way. But what I think Osama's right about is I don't think they're going to make it that way. There's no indication that is this. Uh, the producer said it's not politicized. Then he's saying, well, we can't really pull the politics out. There's nothing about the illegal weapons used. Uh, there's It doesn't sound like there's any uh, civilian casualties that you can uh, actually uh, uh, kill in a way. Not that you should, but if you're going to kill an Iraqi civilian, there should be heft to that. It shouldn't just be collateral damage, even though it sounds like it was in the actual battle. But, you know, how did these soldiers deal with shooting a child? Uh, not intentionally, God would hope, um, after the fact. You know, I mean, if you can't deal with all that in your game, you probably shouldn't be making a game like this because it's just disrespectful to everybody involved, certainly to the people who lost family and lives over there on all sides, but certainly the people who were invaded. And make no mistake, the civilians of Fallujah were invaded at first by the insurgents and then by the fucking American military. So there's nothing that Osama is saying where his heart is that I don't agree with. The only problem I have is it's just goddamn America. This goddamn, uh, 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 I mean, yeah, he's in Montreal, I think. That's where his, his team is, I think. Let me check that out. Yeah, he's, he's in, I think he's in Montreal. The point is, if you're in a country that claims to love freedom of expression and or you're in a country like America where we don't only claim to love it, but it's, it's baked into the cake of the foundation of this country, along with all of our other stuff, a lot of which ain't very good, but that's one of the good things, you would assume that no one would think to do something like this. Of course, I mean, first off, the, the, the petition's bullshit. I'm sorry, it's not gonna work uh, in terms of literally, what are they gonna do? Like I said, change the, the first uh, amendment. But beyond that, it says stuff like, oh, this is gonna, you know, it's gonna normalize, the sick game is gonna normalize um, bombing, shooting, and humiliating Iraqi people. It's going to breed a new generation of mass shooters. It's going to brainwash gamers into thinking racism is okay. Really? Come on, man. Come on, man. Don't, you know, don't... That, that, that's propaganda almost, almost on the level of what you're claiming Six Days in Fallujah is, okay? I think if what you're saying about this game is true, it don't sound good at all. But don't, come on at least come correct that, that's just that's just scare tactics horseshit okay but if the game is what you're saying it's offensive sony i would have no problem if sony says we're not going to carry it if xbox says we're not going to carry it if steam says we're not going to carry it that's fine that's their right and that may be a very good move and that may be what's going to happen 
But that's okay because look, man, I mean, look, as much as I despise, I'm not the most progressive guy you'll meet. I almost assure you that. Um, as much as I despise literal, turd, evil shit like Muslim massacre the game or ethnic cleansing the game, this is allowed to exist and it should be. Not because it's worthy, not because it's valuable, but because the value of it is in the fact that we in a freedom loving society allow it to continue to exist, right? I'm not gonna give you a, 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 an eighth grade civics lesson. You have to know the value of that. I'm not gonna teach you the value. If, you, if you're watching this video and you don't know the true value of freedom of expression, uh, then I'm, you're not too smart to turn on your goddamn computer, let alone watch this fucking video. But yeah, of course, it's, it's offensive if, if it's what uh, Osama is saying it is. But things get to be offensive. And if this game doesn't go to Sony and Xbox, fine. But I would absolutely support them doing what Red Candle did uh, when they just put out Devotion because they had all the shit from China and Steam was too cowardly to carry it the second time. Good old games was too cowardly. They said, fuck you, we're gonna sell it ourselves. And in America, they can do that. The guy who makes Super Seducer 3, Steam was too cowardly. It's, or I don't know if they were cowardly, but they didn't really, their explanation was bullshit uh, that they gave publicly about why you can't have it on their system. The guy's like, okay, well, fuck you, Steam. It sucks, I wanna be on your platform, I'm gonna find another way to sell it. That is what's important. So if Osama wants to say, I mean, Osama should know better, first off, because how many people, Osama, are taking the shit out of Gotham Knights right now about, oh, it's a service game, it's pay to win, it's another one of those grinding looter shooters, and I've seen a number of press come from Warner Brothers saying that's not what this is, it's not that. I mean, give the game a chance, at least play the goddamn thing, uh, at least watch somebody play the goddamn thing, and then if you're right, and you, by the way, you probably are, then great, then make a petition and say, we want this petition to get Sony to take it off their platform. We want Xbox, and it's not, it's not I mean, I don't even agree with that, but if, if your goal is to bring it to Sony's attention so they can make a call, and you think they'll make a right call, which is if this is offensive, and Sony pulled it off their platform, even if it's not offensive, they have the right to do that. I'd rather things just be out there for us to discuss and mock and hate and shame, but that, you know, that's just a subjective take on it. But the idea of, it, uh, uh, of you having a petition that says, sign this and let's, let's let, you know, we will send a, if we get 10,000 signatures or if we raise $2,000, we will send a bloody, uh, we'll send an actor bloodied up and looking horrible with amazing special effects that will literally on video go to Sony headquarters, Microsoft headquarters, Steam headquarters, good old game headquarters, all of these places that sell games, GameStop headquarters, and make them aware in a very Michael Moorish public display of embarrassment, you're gonna carry this game and you people should be ashamed. I would, I would sign that assuming the game did what you claim it does. Um, but the idea that you're just asking to stop the making of a game, I think that's dumb. Un-American, wrong, ignorant, and I appreciate your emotions as a human, and certainly as an Iraqi, are high on this, as they should be. Why would they not be? Especially if you're right. But you gotta let, what was that? I was watching Justice League last night when Alfred says to Bruce Wayne, he's like, I think you're letting your emotion override your, your rational, your rationale, your logic. You don't want this, man. You're creative. You make video games. Don't do this. I don't know, do it. Do whatever the fuck you want to do, but come on. And all these developers signing it, like, yep, you got it signed. What are you guys doing? Didn't you, didn't you, you know, damn. Read a book on civics, man. Read a book on freedom of expression. Read a book on the First Amendment. You really want this? You want to be able to take down shit just because you don't like it? You want to stop things from being made because you don't like it? Come on now. Goodness.